Do you know how long we have been watching Alice on 1011 Strong? Six years. I can't believe it's been six years. Beth Howland, of course, plays Vera, that flaky, very unique, very interesting waitress. During those six years, we've lost Flo, Polly Holiday. We lost Belle not too long ago. We've added Celia Weston to the cast, Joe Ellen. And yet, it's surviving quite well in spite of it all. How do you account for that? I wouldn't even attempt <laughs> to, to <laughs> yeah. come up with a reason. Um, I guess people like the diner and the people in it, and we're just thrilled. What a shame, in many ways, that Flo is being canceled. Polly Holiday is such a unique, special person. I was delighted when she got her own show, and equally disappointed when it was canceled. I know, it's really too bad. I'm sure people are wondering, is she going to come back? You know, would she possibly join the cast again? I have no, no nobody idea. Knows. Nobody no, knows. No rumors, no anything about it? Well, no, not that I know of. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting lady in many ways. She has a very special private life. Now, do you remember Bonnie and Clyde? Remember Bonnie and Clyde a number of years ago? Michael J. Pollard was her husband. He played C.W. Moss back, how long ago has that been? Ah, uh, oh, a long time ago. They got married, and she had a baby when she was 19. And that little baby now is going to college. Her name is Holly Golightly, after... Oh, just Holly, not <laughs> Golightly. I didn't stick her with the whole thing. <laughs> just after breakfast at Tiffany's. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is because I'm a single parent, too. Uh -huh. And I want to know what kind of problems you had in raising Holly by yourself. Well, there are lots. I mean, mainly that the decision-making was not a shared process. So anything that went right, of course, I got to feel really good about. But anything that went wrong, I think, was doubly hard. Well, who took care of her? You know, I know the commitments of an actress. They'll say, be here at this time, and you got to do this. And yet, the, you, the, you got to be there with the kid, too. How did you handle it? Well, doing a series is a really fortunate job because it's almost like a nine-to-five job. Yeah. And you have weekends off. So this situation has been wonderful. I was home every night for dinner. On taping day, she came to the studio with me. So it was a very shared experience. In New York, it was harder because my life, I worked at night. So I had sitters, and it, babysitters. Were these friends? Or were these was I it was family? so fortunate. No, I found these wonderful college kids, you know or unemployed actresses, and we had like two or three alternating ones. I spent most of my salary on babysitters. Yeah. But it worked out wonderfully well. I was very, very fortunate in that area. Uh, did your husband pay alimony or child support? No. Neither? Mm -hmm. No. How'd you manage financially? It wasn't easy. <laughs> I got really very good with tuna fish. I can do a lot with a can of tuna fish. Um, it was hard. It was a struggle. What did you do to provide a male influence in the in the home I don't know <laughs> <laughs> um, well we've always had friends you know that I think have filled that void in a certain level I have a friend now who's been wonderfully helpful to Holly the past couple of years I think this last year was very hard going away to college mm -hmm. um, it was hard on me it was hard on her it was a very traumatic packed year do emotions. you think that you you've been closer as a result that there weren't other children and there wasn't a husband around. You bet. And so therefore, we severing the umbilical cord. Very interdependent. It was very hard for both of us this, this period of time, and so important. Yeah. Do you think it w would have been easier to raise a male or a female child by yourself? I think a, a female. Just because I have no, I mean, I'd panic. I mean, I can see me up, sitting up at night reading about sports and, you know, <laughs> cars. I mean, I, I, it would have been very difficult. For me. I have a male, see. Well, do you find that hard? Well, I, I didn't know how to have him tie a tie, for example. I right. don't know how to tie a tie. Do you and now? No, I still don't. I had, he, when, he took, when he took his girl to the prom, he had to have her dad tie his tie. Oh. He borrowed her dad's tie. And I didn't know, uh, what do you tell him about shaving? Exa oh, my, what did you say? Well, I said, don't shave like I shave my legs. Because I used that razor for 16 years, and I haven't changed the blade. And I don't think you can put that on your face. No, that probably wouldn't be good. <laughs> well, I didn't have those problems. <laughs> well, you survived. Where is Michael J. Pollard these days, and what does he think about Holly now? That's a very interesting question, because they had dinner together, I think, about a week ago for the first time in many, many years. I think he's very impressed. The only thing that's sad is that he missed out on this experience, yeah. and I'm sorry about that for him. But, but you had it. 
I had it. You had it, <laughs> and you did it, and don't you feel good? And she turned out to be a wonderful person, of whom you are very, very proud. Yes, I am. We're pleased with you, too, my dear. Well, thank you. She is Vera in Alice. Her name is Beth Howland, and we'll be watching for her here on 1011 Strong. We'll be back in the morning show right after this word.